An Indianapolis City County Councilor has resigned from his position. This after Jeff Miller pleaded guilty to four counts of battery against persons younger than 14. People in his district outraged that he won't serve any more jail time. Wish TV's Tim McNicholas spoke with some of them. He joins us now live. Tim, what are you learning about this? The prosecutors initially charged Miller with three counts of child molesting. Those charges now dropped under the plea deal, replaced by the battery charges you mentioned. The now former counselor will not have to register as a sex offender. He represented part of downtown, represented this neighborhood, Fountain Square, and Fletcher Place. It just it makes me want to throw up. Harry Walker takes pride in his Fletcher Place neighborhood, but not in his former counselor. If that was me, I'd be in jail for 50 years. Walker lives in the heart of District 16, just blocks from Jeff Miller's house. He should be in jail. He should be under the jail. I can't believe that he is not even going to be charged as a child molester. A charging document filed late last year states a 10-year-old friend of Miller's son told detectives she was at Miller's home when Miller massaged her upper legs where her legs meet her groin. The document states another girl told her mom Miller gave her a piggyback ride and Miller, quote, grabbed her butt. Miller did not answer his door today. He was sentenced to four years probation, but because of time served, he'll be on probation for about 458 days. This is the uh, Indianapolis flag. Mm -hmm. Sam Swander lives down the street from Miller. He's relieved Miller is stepping down. Yeah, I think that's for the best, honestly. Um, there's no reason for him to, to keep working on the, on the council and bring more negative press to, to Indianapolis or to the council and our area in particular. Council President Vop Osili released a statement saying Miller will be remembered for his, quote, tireless advocacy for his constituents and the true passion he brought to serving Indianapolis. It's terrible. And that's not how Walker sees it. It's just unbelievable that somebody can abuse children and because of their place in the city council, they don't have to do any jail time whatsoever. Now you might remember the Marion County prosecutor initially charged Miller. A Hamilton County prosecutor was named special prosecutor in the case. I reached out to his office to ask why they agreed to this deal. We have not heard back from them. Jeff Miller did release his statement this afternoon saying in part, I feel this plea offered by the special prosecutor is fair and just. My actions, while unintentional, were unwelcome. I am terribly sorry for the impact this has had directly on those involved and indirectly on the community as a whole. A new counselor will be appointed within the next 30 days. Live in Fountain Square, I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8.